Next is number 10 on your list. This is Clerodendrum trichotomum, the Harlequin glory bower. So uh, first thing I'll say about this guy is it is hardy to about zone 7, maybe 8, uh, and it will burn down or, or be killed to the ground in uh, particularly cold years. This last year in Corvallis, we're zone 8, and we got down to uh, 0 or negative 1, negative 2, depending on specific uh, site. And uh, our archery here uh, did pretty poorly. But it was root hardy, and you can see there are root suckers that are coming up, which uh, does, does raise a point. Uh, Clerodendrum trichotomum does actually sucker freely. So if you have a place where you're not looking to have uh, the plant spread, you may want to um, uh, move on to use something else. But Harlequin glory bower has oppositely arranged leaves. They are sort of this uh, spade-shaped ovate uh, with a, a acute acuminate apex. Lots of downy pubescence on the new growth that you see, particularly underneath and on the petiole, this white, silvery, very soft, tomatose uh, pubescence. The flowers are born late in the season, generally white with a little bit of pinkish to them. They're quite uh, delicate and they're quite fragrant, very, um, very nice uh, a aspect late in the season. And then the fruit, which you'll, uh, you can see in your slides, is really unique. It's got that blue fruit with the bright red star-shaped calyx that's going to be flaring out behind it. Again, quite unique. A final really uh, unique attribute to Clerodendrum trichotomum is when you crush the leaves, they actually have a very distinct smell uh, exactly like peanut butter. One of my very favorite things. So very cool if you put it in a small sensory garden, you know, for, for little kids to tear them off and smells like peanut butter. So that's Clerodendrum trichotomum.